Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and thanks to a very helpful subscriber, of whom I'm crediting at this very moment, I now have the ability to teach you how to change light source colors in the SUSE V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Alright, let's get started. First, have the SUSE shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite1.vsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 239. This piece of code right here is where we'll get down to business. If you're unfamiliar with the RGB setup, then listen carefully. The first value operates your red, second operates your green, and third, your blue. As for an example to get your feet wet, I think I'd want to add a slight bit more red to the lighting, just for the heck of it. To do this, just increase the red value. I'm going to change 1.00 to 1.28, and I'll leave the rest of the values the same. Before we move back into Minecraft, how about I appease your curiosity? You just may be wondering. Cody, what is it like for other colors in place of these light sources? Well, six words. Take a look at this comparison. Just a last note before I sign off. Only glowstone and glowstone lamps can turn into the color in its place. Torches, fire, jack-o'-lanterns, and lava will only give off the color of the light. Their textures will remain the same. On my part, I don't know how to fix this. For all I know, your only hope might be to alter the resource pack itself, but I don't know for sure. If this Seuss tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.